A few weeks ago in one of my vlogs, I asked if anyone had any ideas of things they would like me to cover. And Michael came back and he asked, how about something on how you develop ideas, arrangements for new tunes that you are learning and how those arrangements might change over time? That's a really interesting idea, Michael, and it's something that we all have to think about. So I thought what I'd do is just pick a tune, and pick a tune that I've never played before from a book and just see how we get on. Okay, why don't we try this one? It's called the Elphiston Collection of North East Fiddle Tunes and it's compiled by and edited by fiddler Paul Anderson. So I've opened the tune at Mrs. Greg's Reel. It's a tune that's thought to be composed by the fiddler Peter Milne. He wrote many fabulous tunes, including Big John McNeil's Reel. And it's an F. One thing that I've got in my favour is when I open a book of tunes that I've been reading music since I was seven, I think it does make life far easier. I don't have to painstakingly work out what the notes are. So let's get going on this. Right, so the first thing that I would do when playing a tune for the first time is play the tune through quite slowly. So this is what Mrs. Greg's reel sounds like. So I kind of get a feel for the tune and then, you know, I'll very quickly, personally, I'll just move on to playing it a little bit faster. And I don't worry about mistakes either because there's always going to be plenty of them. basically playing the tune incredibly straight but I might just as I've become more comfortable with it and in this case I would normally play it quite fast quite a lot of times and then I would start just putting little ornamentation and little runs so you have a, have a listen to this and see if you can notice the differences as I start to put them in. So I do make lots of mistakes and I really don't worry about it too much. But as you can hear, I'm starting just to, I think, I think I play most tunes pretty straight. But I just start earning, I just maybe add little gaps in between the notes. I might hold a note for longer and then shorten the next one, which gives that quite of a jazzy sound to it. But I'm really not changing the notes at all. When I made that mistake at the end of the tune, that actually has made me think, oh, is there a... Is there something that could be uh, done with this? Uh, so it's going to... Now, that, something like that would definitely appeal to me. I could go... But then, or... So that's an A, 
a B flat, a C, a C sharp, a D, an E flat, an E natural, this is a run uh, on an F. But then I could maybe go <laughs> That's quite interesting. So now I'm going the run is an A to a B flat to a B natural to a C to a C sharp to a D to an E. It's quite like a little uh, polka and it's quite an interesting thing to take off this tune. <laughs> We've got the tune, I'm going to just play it a few times for you and I think the answer to the question is how does it develop? It just develops by playing it lots of times. It's like when you, I find when you write one of your own tunes and you put it, commit it to paper and you say, you maybe put it on Sibelius and then a month or so later you look at the tune that you've just written and to the tune that you're playing in your head and it is quite different, there's a lot of little different bits that you're now putting in which are not in the original which you never get round to updating either. And I think that's how a tune develops, just by playing it and playing it. It's like when you make a record, the, the live versions of the recorded tracks always sound different and sometimes a lot better because they're far more relaxed. This is a version of Mrs Gregg's Reel. practice is needed. Now if you enjoyed these videos and would like to help me make some more why don't you support my Patreon account which is patreon.com forward slash Simon Tumir. I have three tiers, one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar tiers that all got slightly different offerings but I really appreciate it. Otherwise just follow me on my Facebook page or the YouTube channel because I really appreciate that too. So thanks very much and uh, if you've got any questions or if you've got any other ideas for vlogs please tell me. Cheers.